Hello, this is Lightroom Mark and welcome to today's Lightroom Quick. We're going to be looking at the workflow in backing up a Lightroom Classic catalog. I'm running Lightroom Classic version 11, but nothing's really changed for the last few versions. So everything I show you today should be applicable to version 10 and version 9. Now, firstly, before we start, I'd like to explain what the catalog is, what it does do and what it doesn't do. Basically, your catalog stores all the information about an image. And I stress the word about an image. So it stores the EXIF data that's come from a camera. So date, time, camera, serial number, the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed, did the flash fire, what metering mode did you use, and so on. It also stores the IPTC data, which is the caption, title, description, keywords, all that information. It also stores the develop settings that we apply to an image. But what it doesn't store is the actual image itself. And I'll demonstrate that by showing you this image here that I took uh, very quickly on a workshop. These were five lovely ladies that attended one of my photography workshops. And we can see the image is pleasant to look at and it's what we would roughly see with the eye. But if I go right click and show in Finder and bring the window over slightly, we can see that the camera was very overexposed on the sky and on this kiln. So Lightroom is showing me a preview of what the image would look like on export. And this image does not exist until I export the image. And it's a non-destructive workflow, which is why this file hasn't changed from the time of capture. OK, so let's go back to grid view by pressing the letter G. I now want to back up my catalog. How do I do that? Well, firstly, we have to tell Lightroom when we want to back up our catalog. So I'm on a Mac here. So we go Lightroom Classic, Catalog Settings. And the first top part of it under general, top part of the menu is, or the pop-up is location where your catalog stored, the name of your catalog, date it was created, when it was last backed up, the file size, but down the bottom is a little pop-up. And you can select when you want to back up. It says back up your catalog. Never, once a month, once a week, once a day, every time you exit Lightroom and the next time I exit Lightroom. So let's give you some examples when you would use these. Let's say you just took a few images a month. That's what I would use once a month. Let's say you went out every week and two or three times a week you took some pictures and you imported them into Lightroom. I would back up my catalogue once a week. Let's say you were a professional photographer and that was your full-time job and you were always out taking photographs or perhaps you had an assistant that took photographs with you, etc. You have a large amount of images. Then once a day, and that's what I do. I've got over 600,000 images. I take images every single day. and Once every 24 hours, my catalogue is backed up. And then you have every time you leave Lightroom, which I could do that, um, or the next time you leave Lightroom. So the next time I quit, which is going to be now, it'll ask me to back up my catalogue. So I'm going to press X, come out of there, and now I'm going to quit Lightroom. Yes, I'd like to quit. And this pop-up appears. And in this pop-up, again, I've got this drop-down to tell Lightroom how regularly I want to back up. And this training catalogue of mine is once a week. Now, the next line, backup folder. This is really important. Do not put this on your main drive. And the reason why is, if that drive fails, if you spill coffee over your computer, if your computer is stolen, if there's a flood or a fire and you lose that hard drive, or more likely the hard drive will fail, then you've lost your working catalogue and your backup. Now you may want to, for speed of backup, export it, for example, to your desktop 
and then move it to a network drive yes but when you finish backing up please do not keep it on your main drive now the next two boxes the tick boxes also test your backup integrity and optimize your backup these need to be turned on and this is why we use this backup rather than just straight copying our current catalog it will test the catalog to see if there's any errors in that catalog and the next one down it'll optimize and that basically means it puts everything in the right order that Lightroom wants we can skip it this time till next week and sorry we can skip until next week or we can skip this time get my teeth in and then our option is to back up so we hit back up it's going through and that's it simple as that I only had a few hundred images in this training catalog so it was very very quick now I hope you enjoyed today's Lightroom quick if you'd like to subscribe please subscribe on YouTube give me a thumbs up leave a comment I do respond to people's comments by creating a video to help you with your Lightroom workflow. Follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. Come and check out my website, lightroommart.com, or come and join me on a Monday. On Mondays, I host lots of live Lightroom Zoom workshops from coffee mornings to afternoon teas, evening suppers, and I also have a support group where each Monday evening we'll go through a panel, a workflow, a task, or a module, followed by some random QMAs from the attendees. So I hope you enjoyed today. Take care, stay safe, see you soon. Bye.